Uh, we've had a good time uh, since we've been down here, and uh, it's a great city, a lot of things to do, and uh, at the same time, uh, gotten uh, had great practices. Uh, the guys been focused and um, you know prepared. It, it's important, uh, you know, that they're fun, but they're a lot more fun if you win. And uh, but um, the city's been great to us. The Alamo Bowl has been great to us, and um, we, we've had a good week preparing and looking forward to the game. Questions for the panel, raise your hand, we'll bring around a microphone. If you're listening online, hashtag Valera Alamo Bowl, and we'll ask uh, social media questions from there. First, is there a first question in the audience? Nobody. There we go. Coach, All right. There we go. <laughs> Coach Spurrier, the one we did have one come in, can you talk about what kind of the, the Iowa State offense, what you knew before, what you know now after a couple weeks of I know of tape? nothing about their offense, and I, mean, I know nothing this week about their offense. I haven't watched <laughs> them at all. Yeah, their defense. defense uh, Iowa so State right uh, is down, a talented right team. Down. You know, they started off the year, I think, one and three, uh, and seven and one the last eight games, so they've got a lot of momentum going for them. Uh, they kind of, they're, they're kind of standard in the front. They play a three-man front, and they, and they mix it up in the secondary a good bit. Um, their leading tackler, number 12, does a, an excellent job flying all over the place. They're a, they're a sound team. They tackle well. Uh, we're going to have to play well, execute, execute well uh, to beat these guys. Thank you, Coach. All right, Greg Lucas, San Antonio Express News. Coach Clays, can you tell me about what the process was like coming in for you, you this year and installing your defense? Well, the best thing was I didn't change a whole lot, you know, is that uh, you know, I felt it was better for me to learn some things, and, and we changed as little as possible. Obviously, personality-wise, there are a couple of things that, that I like to do that uh, they weren't doing much of. But I would say 80% of it was uh, built around what they've already been doing, and, and uh, they've been great. Uh, we had to get to know each other, but uh, we say had great senior leadership, and um, uh, so uh, overall, the transition was really pretty easy. Uh, this is for Peyton. Um, last season, your season was cut short due to injury. Um, this season, you're leading the team in tackles. What have you learned in the recovery pro process, and how has it impacted your gameplay this year? Um, yeah, I think I've just had a different perspective on football, just coming back from that injury. Uh, I've had a newfound appreciation just for the game itself. Um, you know, it's, each practice is just that much more fun for me just because, you know, I've never really sat out like a full year like that before from an injury. Um, so I guess, you know, before, before that injury, I kind of, you know, took it for granted a little bit. And so um, this season has just been that much more fun. One, because we've been winning. I just got a great, great group of guys around me and um, guys on like Hunter Dale on the defensive side of the ball that, that helped me out and allow me um, to make, make plays when I get the opportunity. Um, but just having that new, new appreciation for this, for this game that I've been playing since I was, you know, just a little kid um, just makes it that much more fun. You did have one to come in for Gardner. You had the, the Coach Leach holiday card. You had the suit. Is there, a, is there one more thing that's going to go viral before game time? Uh, there's no telling, man. We, we got a lot of personality on this team. So I'd probably keep some cameras around just in case something pops off. Uh, but there's nothing, nothing in the works yet. Uh, Peyton, your defense as a team has improved a lot since you came to the program. You know, what differences have you seen or when was the turning point for you as a group? Um, you know, we got a close-knit group of guys you know we, we we have fun together each practice is is just a blast you know lo love loads of energy um, and coach clay is here um, like he talked about earlier came in didn't really change much um, new verbiage here and there but for the most part we've been doing what we we've been doing the past couple of years um, and i feel like that really helped out the young guys because we it, it is kind of a, a younger defense um, and they've just been keep keep getting better uh week in week out so you know, we try to focus on getting better each week, and um, especially with, with all the practices we've had this, this bowl season, um, you know, we just try to focus on, uh, on getting better and, and preparing our butts off each, each game. Um, and this week's no different. Front. Um, this can go to Hunter or Peyton, whichever, whoever wants to answer it. Um, so you played against a lot of good quarterbacks in the Pac-12. Um, who have you seen that compares to Brock Purdy's play in the Pac-12 quarterback-wise? Um, I mean, in the Pac-12, they do have a lot of good quarterbacks. Uh, and that he's a, since he's a freshman, um, I think he's doing a phenomenal job leading that team. Uh, he's making his receivers better, and he's making everybody around him better, too. And it looks like he's giving a lot of his people around him a lot of confidence. And each quarterback has their, their own style. Um, I really wouldn't compare to anybody in the Pac-12 because he has his own style. 
And I just think that we're gonna have to do a good job containing him and and trying to uh, trying to show him different looks and things like that. But he's a uh, he, he brings his team up and he gives their he elevates their team's play. Thank you, Hunter. What he said. <laughs> Thank you, Peyton. <laughs> Coach Clays, could you talk about the their re their receiving running back their stars? They're both a thousand yards. Um, Hakeem's got a lot of height. Um, do they compare with anything? What have you seen on tape from those two? Well, it's a matter of uh, with their size and, and their skill levels that uh, having the running back and, and you know two big wide receivers and got a tight end that, that runs good as they make you defend everything, you know, vertically and horizontally. Uh, they make it hard to cheat anywhere. And then, uh, you know, mixing up their tempos on you and is that uh, it's a challenge, but uh, you know, um, each week is, and, and we've had good practices, and, uh, but uh, looking forward to it. But it will definitely be a challenge with, with their talent and, and some of the things they're doing. Uh, for Jameer, they're, they're, uh, they're, their defense has had some success against uh, different air raid kind of schemes all year. Can you tell me what, you, what you've seen from them and their, their safety? PV is all, an All-American, and what does he kind of uh, bring to their team? Uh, just kind of a leadership role. He kind of leads the whole defense. Uh, comes down, makes good tackles. They're actually a really good tackling team, so we're just going to have to go out there, do what we do every week, and just uh, make plays, set holes in zones, and just come out with the victory. Uh, Scott Hood from uh, Wazoo Watch. This is for Coach Spurrier. Uh, when you were at South Carolina, you went to a lot of bowl games with, with your dad and won a lot of bowl games. What impact did those bowl games have on, have on recruiting? Because obviously you, you recruit down in Florida and up in the Midwest and all over the country. What impact does recruiting have? Yeah, on bowl games are big, um, especially as you get into later December and January where everybody's watching them. Uh, everybody sees this. And, you know, Washington State, we have pretty good reach. We got a lot of kids from Florida, uh, Michigan, Texas. Uh, to be in the state of Texas obviously means a lot for us to be here. Uh, we need to play well. Uh, we brought a good team with us. and. Uh, we're looking forward to, to putting on a good show. But, yeah, it definitely influences kids. They, they get to watch you play. And, and they want to see a team that plays well, that plays hard, that, that has fun and, and, and can win games. And, and we've done that a bunch this year. We've got an opportunity to be on TV a good bit. Um, you know, game day coming out there to Pullman was a big deal for us. So, yeah, anytime you're on TV and you represent your program, it, it's a big deal and it's a big deal in recruiting. Without a doubt, Scott. Uh, I think we got a planted question. There you go. All right, Garner. Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious, you know. How much would someone have to pay you to shave off your mustache? Mm. I, I don't know if it's even in dollars right now. Um, you know, maybe I'd trade it for like three wishes from a genie. There we go. Or, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, executive power of the United States of America. <laughs> uh, something like that. But to put a dollar figure on it is just absurd. So, good question. <laughs> Gardner, we did have one. I mean, what do you think running out of that tunnel, though? I mean, are you, what is, what is going to be going through your mind when you go through, see the big crowd, see the Friday night lights, the only game on TV? What, you know, what do you think is going to be going through your mind? No, I'm fired up. Um, we're, we're, we're glad to be here. Um, you know, I always kind of imagine when I run out of the tunnel, kind of like Mike Winchell running out, you know, yeah. in Friday night lights. Um, so I'm in Texas, so I'll probably do something like that. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a huge stage, big bowl game against a really good team. And, man, we, we just got to go out and do what we do. And, um, you know, the rest, I feel like, will take care of itself. Any other questions from the Fed table? One in front. <coughs> Question for Jameer. Uh, with neither USC or UCLA going to bowl games, you being from Southern California, um, have all, what, what are your reaction for your family and friends down there? They sort of adopted Washington State as their team since the Trojans and the Bruins are, are staying home for the holidays? Uh, I would hope so. I mean, that would help a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of good guys that come out of California. Uh, USC and UCLA kind of been on the decline, but I'm sure they'll get it together and figure it all out. They're historically great programs, but I mean, hey, come join us at Washington State. Watch you play. <laughs>